This is Cumbria and it's the town of Alston and it's a town that's not too not used to uh, tourists and uh, because I hate tourism that's exactly what I'm going to be. Right, the reason why that glass pane is slightly cracked is that the vandals have just left and uh, they just walked down that alley there. It's proving that uh, youngsters get bored in a very small town. They can do. Well, I've got to admit, it's a polite notice. Well, tomorrow's the smoking ban. Hedonism officially ends in England in all public places as of tomorrow, July the 1st. But if you want a bit of a rebuttal, perhaps you could try some of these. Just pause whatever you're using to watch this. If it's on YouTube, pause that. If it's on your DVD player, press pause if you want to see what any of these says. And the owner of this shop in Alston in Cumbria would rather these were banned in public places. And as this is a public place, it is banned at least here. And this is something we no longer have to worry about as of tomorrow. And Tony Blair's absolute, got absolute zero tolerance on antisocial behaviour. What's he going to do about that speaker? <laughs> now he's left office. Religion advocates high morals and has a high place in this town. Holston as yet cannot afford an intercity train. Therefore, at the moment, the town still has this. Um, so where does this uh, railway actually go to? Yeah, it's off a little country hall, two and a quarter mile down the valley. So. The price of your railway ticket pays for this. Okay, so how fast does this train go? The uh, maximum speed we can run at is 15 miles an hour, which we do for much of the run. Uh, in the station area and at a part where the track where it's been newly laid, uh, we're restricted to five miles an hour. As of tomorrow, smoking will be banned across the United Kingdom. That only st only steam smoke will be allowed on this train. This train's about to leave. It really must leave quickly because it's got to get to Newcastle within the next four days. There is also a level crossing because if cars get hit by this train, they might get a slight dent. This person is running very fast to catch the train. Maybe she'll be able to get on if she just jumps. She hasn't made it. These people have decided to walk. It will be quicker, but less expensive. And now with the last train to Newcastle gone, this platform will be empty for the next week. And any old residents of Alston who have missed the train will have to make do with last week's shopping. But nay, say these passengers. Perhaps given the train situation, you'll want to travel by car. But at this garage, petrol prices are going through the roof. But in addition to the trains and the cars, in Alston there are some very proficient cyclists who can cycle up extremely steep hills. In five minutes this chippy opens. And it's time to leave Alston soon, but not before I've stuffed myself with enough chips that I won't be able to take any more. But it's summer, and what if you're a local flyer insect? Well, there's the alternative of this chippy.